Hello everyone, my name is Ong and in this video I would like to demonstrate on how to create a bunch of box sets in Revit project. I'm using Dynamo Code and Excel as well. Okay, first of all we need to have some requirements that uh, we need to have the work set list in Excel first. So it one is to five us save it okay then second thing is our Revit version Revit version should be at least 2017.2 and above will be great below 2017 then you will not get the dynamo player tools then on top of that we need to have uh, dynamo version 1.2.1 or above and additional package like swing nodes then data shapes and return should be ready then we can start to uh, to to run our code. So to do that, we have to create a brand new project first. Then we save this file as uh, work set desktop. Put it at the desktop first. Then make it work set. Work set. Then option change to uh, maximum backup option change to one then save it okay so now we're going to enable the work sharing so go to collaborate then click collaborate then we have to choose the collaborate within your networks option so that we already been enabled work sharing for this Revit file so that system will create actually system automatically create for us these two works that these two works that you can not delete I think works at one cannot delete but this one is taken delete okay so we have two works that's already been uh, created by the systems then just click OK then we go to manage then we go to the dynamo player This is the Dynamo player, which is only uh, available at 2017.2 and above. So please take notes. Then now we're going to look for a Dynamo code that I created. So I, I save it under Create Workset folder. So this is a Dynamo code that I created. So we already have the Works at least in Excel. We already have the Dynamo version 2.1. Then we already have the uh, additional package. Then we can run this code already. So click play button to run it. When UI came out, we have to give the fine path for Works at. Uh, Excel file box at list then the sheet name is this Excel sheet name so we have to be make it same as Excel sheet name this is case sensitive so this case this sheet name is wrongly uh, type it in that our code will be getting an error so start number uh, start row number currently our information started from row number two so we have to click row number two out of list out of list is currently in our uh, Revit file we can see that uh, we have the when we enable the work sharing then these two works that is automatically created by the system 
so that these two work set is out of uh, the two work sets are actually out of our list in our list we don't see it right so that this is uh, the number so sometime when we are working on the existing project then they already have the work set then which are not listed inside our list call also out of the list so out of the list might be more than two so at least two might be there because this two is automatically generated by the uh, the system mode. so we click two then click set value so that we will straight away have the work set that we listed in the excel one so this is the way that we can create a bunch of work set in Revit project just one just a few click only so you click OK then we save it so this is the first round we save this file as a central file so this dialog box will come out so just click yes then we close this file then we will open the for example like existing project or maybe we will open this this file this time we will open it as a local file so this file is already being work share enabling so that previously we already have the file work set plus additional two work set which are created by the system okay so now in our work set list we will create the another work set so we will add another work set into the project for example like save then close it so whatever additional one that created in the list one also we want to create on our Revit project so what we need to do is we have to run our dynamo code again but the important thing that I want to highlight is that uh, when we add the uh, new work set right so that this new work set and existing work set in between should not have should not have any space should be continuous this is very important if we give one space then our code will get some error so make sure to be continuous in Excel so now what we have is that we already run the code then so UI came already so we give the file path again then give the sheet name again then start row number we just give the row number where information started so two out of list currently is state two because only this two is these two are still out of the list the rest are all listed inside our excel one so just set so that that's it we already have the another work set so we need more work set we have to go to excel then we have to fill it in another work set then save then we run again so same process give the find path give the find name then give the start row number state 2 out of list is state 2 then set that's it so we can see that we already have the another work set as well okay so click ok this time round we will test it whether I think should be okay we click then we will add manually new work set maybe uh, tier then save it okay uh, maybe yes okay so now we will add the another work set the one two the five right then save it then we have to rerun the code this is a fine path give the fine path then 
sheet name so sheet 1 start row number is state 2 out of list now not 2 ready I add the additional one TL which is not listed in the workset list so this one become 3 right then set so we can see here so a1 to a5 b1 to b5 c1 to c5 d1 to d5 and the rest so this is the way that we can create or add a bunch of work set in Revit by using Dynamo code and the work set list Excel file so that's it okay so now we're going to browse to this dynamo code so click edit okay this is the dynamo code that I created so main thing is rhythm code call uh, uh, sorry this is a rhythm package work set dot create notes come from rhythm package this is the node that can create a work set so to get to create this work set then we need to have the information list of work set coming from the excel then bring down to this code so another one is the swing notes package this swing note package is that uh, we can have the, the list of work set it's already been uh, which already been created inside the, the current project one then we can list it out then we can count it then we can minus off so wh whatever total one the minus of the existing one then the rest will only be created so this is the way that I managed to to add the additional work set then some of those work set which is out of the list one also I minus off over here so this is the main main process to create a work set then whatever behind are to create the dialog box so in this case I'm using the data shape package and in this data package then we have the UI multiple input format. This multiple input format allow a few types of the input formats over there. So from there, I use five path and string only. So in this case, this one is input name. One is five path sheet name, then start row number and out of list. Start row number and out of list are actually period number fine path is fine path sheet name is just a string only but according to the note that available is only string the rest number not available so that's why I just put it all in string then we came out as a string but what we need is the number so that I use string to number nodes to transform to number for this sheet uh, start row numbers and out of list. Run list of the same thing. So this is the way that I uh, create these notes. That's it. Uh, thank you for watching.